Good Monday morning from the International Space Station Flight Control Room. It's September 16th, 2013, and you're watching the uh, coverage of the day of the International Space Station and its uh, control of the orbiting complex uh, 260 miles above the Earth. The uh, orbiting complex has just moved into a uh, sunset uh, as it uh, crosses the Southern Ocean, heads toward the Indian Ocean and the uh, continent of Australia. From this vantage point of uh, 260 miles above the Earth, the uh, crew on board the station enjoys a sunrise and sunset about every 45 minutes as the station circles the Earth about every 90 minutes. The uh, crew on board Expedition 37 settling in as a three-person crew for a short period of time. Uh, that uh, crew is made up of uh, Commander Fyodor Yurchikin and European Space Agency astronaut Luca Parmitano representing the Italian Space Agency and of course also NASA astronaut Karen Nyberg. Those three crew members have uh, been aboard the station now for 111 days. They're in their 111th day aboard the complex since their uh, launch and arrival on the same day uh, back on Tuesday, May 28th. They launched late in the afternoon and arrived late at night and uh, they will remain as a three-person crew until the augmentation of uh, uh, that uh, Expedition 37 crew uh, with three new crew members uh, that are headed their way uh, in just a uh, short while, in about uh, nine days. Scheduled to launch on September uh, 25th are three uh, crew members that make up the uh, additional uh, Expedition 37 crew, Oleg Kotov, representing the um, Russian Space Agency, along with Ser Sergei Ryazinsky. Uh, those two, um, uh, Ryazinsky will be making his first flight into space, and they'll also be joined by uh, NASA astronaut Michael Hopkins, who also will be making his first flight. Kotov, uh, no stranger to life aboard the International Space Station, as this will be his third long-duration voyage on the ISS, having served as a member of Expedition 15 and also uh, jointly Expedition 22 and 23. They are uh, uh, already at the Baikonur Cosmodrome, the launch site uh, in Kazakhstan, uh, where they will remain for the uh, duration of their uh, training, um, preparing for that uh, September 25th launch atop a Soyuz TMA-10 spacecraft uh, with a booster rocket, which is also known as a Soyuz as well. They're currently scheduled to launch late in the afternoon on the 25th and arrive late at night as well. The uh, three crew members now on the station uh, had a fairly quiet weekend, uh, but they have a, uh, a busy week planned with uh, the arrival of a brand new um, uh, supply ship uh, on schedule now uh, for launch on Wednesday. That uh, Cygnus uh, spacecraft, as it's known, will launch atop an Antares rocket uh, from the uh, Wallops Flight Facility, the Mid-Atlantic Regional Spaceport that uh, will serve as the uh, focal point this week uh, with the launch scheduled for Wednesday at uh, just before 10 a.m. Central Time, 9.50 Eastern. And of course, we'll have all the coverage of that launch uh, uh, as associated with the rendezvous and docking as well just a few days later. So the crew uh, will be doing some onboard training today um, associated with the robotics activity to capture that uh, Cygnus spacecraft, which... Um, will be the 135th visiting vehicle to the International Space Station when it arrives. So the crew, in addition to experiments, is uh, conducting some Cygnus preparation uh, training as well as the flight control teams here in Houston and around the world uh, anticipate the launch and arrival of that new vehicle to the uh, International Space Station.